what we do here is go back, 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 back. Paradise catches are making a big comeback and is slowly becoming a trend. Normally, we barely see this type of content on this platform or many other platforms due to the strict restrictions. So I'm aware that I probably won't get monetized for talking and reacting to the content that I will be showing y'all. But honestly, fuck it, I don't even have ads anyway. There has been countless. Pred catchers that's been appearing on here, such as Skate Hansen and Colorado Pred catchers who normally have cops involved. The Pred catchers I'm about to mention are different. They don't just lure creeps into meeting them and getting them arrested. These motherfuckers are a different type of breed. They are laying the beats on these creeps and tell them to call the cops after hitting them, knowing damn well that if they call the cops, the creeps gotta admit why they are there in the first. This group that's been throwing hands with these creeps, known as Dap Inc. or Dads Against Predators, and this is one of their most viral. You just, you said maybe. That's not acting. These were up and down and he's trying to make a point with that. Damn. He got the shit smacked out of him. We got a child predator trying to take off, man. Look at him go. Oh, shit, he missed. Look at him go. Look at him go. Look at him go. Trying to pick up little kids. Look at this nigga go. Yo, creeps when they run, it just... It's just a day. Then there was a time where Dab had lured another person to a public area and one of them got hit by a shopping cart. I'm not sure if the person was with Dab or they were just a on or a normal shopper there and they just, you know, obviously saw that. Alright, so this is the infamous shopping cart video. Like, <laughs> homeboy, really. The one thing I don't understand about these creeps is that they be trying to smack it. Oh, shit! <laughs> no. Yo, he ran the fuck out of that shopping cart. This became a trend instantly because nowadays we have people outside of that picking creeps and just beating them the fuck up. I might have to censor this one hard, but this um, predator catcher had legit taped a creep and whooped his ass with a hammer hopefully i do not get in trouble for posting this so i'm gonna try my best to censor it and make this color black and white uh y'all might be mad at me but hey i gotta follow the guidelines here it's it's insane like this shit is really crazy like this trend really brought out people and helping them feel inspired to legit bring these creeps to justice right if it's Involving the cops or legit beating the shit out of them, and honestly, I prefer um, beating the shit out of these creeps and then call the cops on them because that's what they need—just a good, good old ass woman. And honestly, bless y'all. That's God's work right there that y'all doing because nowadays the justice system be too lenient on these creeps, and a good ass woman is needed because why, as a grown ass person, think? It's a good idea to meet up with a minor. I also know that I did lose some subs when it comes to talking about these creeps in this content in society, and it also explains a lot. Maybe Dab needs to come visit you or other celebrity creeps such as Dr. Disrespect, Cody KO, EDP, and etc. And this is the most funniest one of them said, all. After the little boy said, I'm 13, you said nice. You said 18. No, it says yes, it is 13. obvious that he's you said nice. on the spectrum. But like I said before, this no excuses. Yeah, he's a child predator in the area. We gotta watch out for him. Yeah. It says, I just turned 13. So are you able to come stay the night? And the scariest right part, when you picture a creep, so this is exactly what they look like. I mean, you answered them right here. Yeah. Swear about down they're invincible, like they won't get in trouble. Now you seem stupid, huh? No. Can I wake you up? <laughs> Can I wake you the fuck up? Hey, don't see him. Unfortunately, it is. This is very dangerous. So, if you're going to catch creeps like this, you really do got to be careful because some of them do be hacking weapons. So, oh shit. They are dead ass. Be careful. Look, look at this man. He running. He running. He dropped his phone. You want to get smacked? I'm going to tell you one night. Cross this line right here. So if you're ever thinking about talking and meeting with a minor for discussing things, just remember Dap and other predator creatures are gonna throw hands and they might call, they might get called on your ass. They ain't just catching motherfuckers. They are beating them now. Like I said before, like this is something that needs to be happening more often because when these creeps get arrested, I feel like in their mind it's like, oh, I'm just gonna get a slap on the wrist and not that much consequences. Like they get probation they get sentenced to probation or a year or two in sentence or we have people who don't even commit crimes up to 
the creep type of level, they get more sent to time. Like, motherfuckers get sent to jail for a pound of marijuana while these creeps, mind you, doing horrible, horrible things to kids are getting Indian. So, why not whip their ass in a while? Like, what are they gonna do? And yeah, it's assault. But what's more worse? What's more worse? Beating a kid and ruin their life? Or get your ass beat for doing that? And honestly, throwing in the jail is not gonna re rehabilitate them. They need the good ass whipping. And I'm and I'm just saying, I know a lot of people may disagree with me, but let's be real. You gotta put the beats on these creeps in society. You gotta put, put the beats on these creeps nowadays because they're running rampant and don't know any common sense. So if you got a creep in your area, call these motherfuckers because they will beat their ass. And right, guys, what you guys think about this crazy ass trend? And honestly, it needs to be it needs to happen more often. And while you're at it, make sure you guys like, share, subscribe, and ring the bell for future notifications on this channel. It's your girl, Money Two Times, signing off. And go to my communities and keep voting for the next video topic. Other than that, guys, it's your girl signing off.